after all of us trying to get over the Just don't fart. Do no a farts. Roll over. A roll over. I, I get very creative on. Oh, God. Oh, he didn't even get you. <laughs> okay, Brian, make it look easy. Ugh. Turn around and get them getting over it. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta put my glasses on. I didn't rip the crotch out of my pants doing it. I'm a tree hugger. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. I'm a tree hugger. (laughs) Mm. Chris just jumps over. Chris didn't even care. He's like, what is this? (laughs) Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. We are just arriving here at our destination at John Bryant State Park, and it's our first time camping here. Yeah, it's, um, we've been here a few times camping. Hiking. Or hiking, yeah. <laughs> but not camping. This is our first camping trip. So it's, um, looks like the park's pretty full, but it's a small park, so that doesn't mean a whole lot. There's not a, a ton of sights in here. But I think we're going to get wet. <laughs> yeah, it's said no like rain. It's about to rain here. <laughs> so that's, um... Uh, yeah, it said no rain tonight or Friday, but yeah. tomorrow 30% until 10 or 11, and then like 70 or 90% or something like that after that. So, not looking forward to that, but we'll, we'll take it. At least we're out camping. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've got some really nice trails here, so hopefully we can get out and enjoy those uh, at least a little bit before the rain comes in. And if it does come in, if we've got some options as far as things to do to keep us busy. We've got the ice cream place close by, the Young's Jersey Dairy, and there's a winery close by, and the town of Yellow Springs is nice as well. So we've got other options if the weather goes south. <laughs> All right, well, we'll catch up with you when we get to the campsite. All right, so we got here just in time, got set up. It's about to cut loose. This is site number 22 at John Bryan State Park. Actually, a pretty nice sight. Here's the thunder. Here's the fire ring. Apparently, it's already got stuff in it for us. And then it was off by one inch on the left hand side. So I had to level it there. 50 amp and 30 amp both and it wasn't really enough room to park my truck so I just parked it right here but it's cool because this area on the left here is pretty big so that is the site it's about to cut loose what do you think Wade? raining again huh you remember your very first camping trip at allen creek we got there and about two minutes later cut loose like this <laughs> you remember that we just got to john bryan state park a little bit ago and got the camper level and brought our stuff in basically and we actually uh saw cruising with the coleman's brian and michelle we talked to michelle for a couple minutes and it started thundering like crazy so we headed back and got here just in time to not get soaked. Ooh. What do you think, Cash? You scared no rain. So we recently upgraded our surge protector to a hard wire. Progressive entry is 50 amp. It's right behind this panel right here. We've had the portable one since day one. And we should have done the hard wire to start with. I'll show you a little bit of footage right now of me installing it. Okay, we're getting the 50 amp hard wire installed. And then you have to take out the breaker box fuse panel. And you get this big nest of wires back here. Which is a ton of wires. <laughs> it's amazing how many they cram in there. There's the converter back there. And what we're going to do is just cut this main wire right here. And then put it into each side of the box. Okay, so I found the main wire and the one that goes into the surge protector and one side and out the other. And it's this big wire right here. 
and it is a royal pain to cut this. <laughs> to explain it is uh, really tough. These are pretty large wires and they're bundled together. So it, it was a little bit of a chore to, to cut these and even to strip them back a little bit. So um, that's where we're at so far. Okay, so I got one side wired up and this was a pain, <laughs> ginormous pain in the butt. It's almost as hard to put it in there as it is to hold it and film at the same time. So this, these wires come through this hole and then you have to put them into these uh, connectors right here. And man, the wires are large and they're stiff. So it's kind of hard to get them through there and screw it in, but we're good. Now I just have to connect this side. All right, we just flipped the breaker back on. And we are, we're on a 30 amp hookup right now. So we are uh, L1, 121 volts. We're drawing 22 amps on L2. 122 volts drawing two amps. Yep. So it's, it looks like it's working. So we just wanted to test it real quick before we <laughs> found a home in here. So you're pulling 24 amps off my service. Yeah. That's gonna cost you. Yeah. That's that's probably <laughs> cheap, isn't it? Like. Yeah. What do you think it is per amp? Five bucks. Oh wow. Per hour. Yeah. Yeah, I knew per it. Per amp. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> And this is the monitor for it. It was easy, I just had to drill one hole, put the wire through. So right now L1 has 120 volts, we're drawing 18 amps. L2, 124 volts, zero amps. That's, I think the water heater's on right now. That's, I think I can hear it, actually. I chose that location because from the doorway, I can open the door from the, be standing outside and I can still see this if I ever need to. And it was just super easy to wire it in right here. So if you have the choice between the portable and the hard wire, get the hard wire for sure. You just less stuff you have to carry around. And I'll throw in a picture right here from we were at um, uh, Mary Jane Thurston State Park, and the power post was like four or five feet off the ground. I had to shim with a couple leveling blocks the bottom of the surge protector to keep it from hinging out and unplugging itself due to the weight so you know it's just one of those things that just go ahead and get the, the hard wire do that from day one and just go on from there <laughs> All right, we're out right now cruising with the Coleman's. Hello. Hi. Brian and Michelle. And we're on our way to a distillery called Still Rights, which is in, the, is it Yellow Springs actually? It's in Fairborn. Fairborn, okay, close to Yellow Springs. Our stomping grounds. Yeah, so we've been <laughs> kind of going down the memory lane with them as well. And we're gonna pull in here. We'll apologize for that later. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the distillery. 
doing a tour, right? We are doing a tour. So that'll Some be fun. Sampling. They let us video. That'd be cool. I don't know if they will or not. I, don't know. I think I they don't might. Know. They might. They, yeah. <laughs> Everyone wants to follow the Fitches. Yeah. <laughs> Including, who's following the Fitches right now? Right now, the Sight Seekers, which are Chris and Melissa, are following the Fitches right now. They met up with us at John Bryan. We did some hiking earlier, and they're also coming to the uh, distillery with us. So, okay, we're gonna get parked, and then if, like I said, if we're able to shoot it, we'll throw some video into this. We'll at least get the tasting in there. That's right, yeah. <laughs> we know the good stuff's coming up, the stuff that we're after, right? So we can separate all that stuff off that came up before, and then we catch the ethanol, the stuff that we're after. Okay, so we just left Stillwrights, which is a really cool distillery here in Fairborn, Ohio. And they're really nice people. Brad is one of the co-owners. He took us on a tour. Their story about how they started their business is actually a really cool story. And Brad was funny telling the story. Yeah, he's absolutely. great. He reminded me of myself a lot of times about how funny he was. You know? <laughs> oh, yes, but, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Your twin. Yeah. So and we did, a, we did a sample at the end of it. I did not because I was driving, but everyone else did. Good and stuff. Then, uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. And if you like moonshine, you got to get there fast because once it's gone, they are not making yeah, it. Yeah, they're actually yeah, they're, getting out of the moonshine business. Their big thing is um, bourbon, uh, bourbon whiskey, and rum. And rum, and they spice are very rum and aged rum. Oh my gosh, they're so good at it. I mean, if you're listening, still writes. Again, as I have mentioned, <laughs> we will be taste testers. Will you join yeah, us? Definitely. We will be taste testers for you. Yeah, just <laughs> give them a call. Cruising with the Coleman's. <laughs> <laughs> We'll all we'll try anyone's alcohol. Oh, no, 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 no. Cocktails with Cut, the Coleman's. If you're making it, blooper. if you're no. making it in your basement, we'll try no. it. If you're making it in your backyard, no. we'll try it. No, no. You're taking the next left. No. You did not. Cut. <laughs> so this is take 512 of me trying to open a bottle of wine with this wine opener. Yeah, what's gonna happen? We'll find out. I'm guessing it's not gonna work. <laughs> I think you've done that every time. Alright, it's good, it's good. I don't think it is. It's bogging <laughs> <Sorry>. down. <laughs> no wait, I don't I don't do that. The Coleman's are laughing in the background. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. You gotta push it back down on there. You lifted it up. Alright, right there, right there. No. Ah I did it! Wait. Oh! Now look, it's like poops it out. Oh, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> so she's put on a show for cruising with the Coleman. We did not know it was dinner to show. We did not know it was dinner to show, but I am all in for a show with the bitches. I mean, that was, you guys paid no extra for that right We did there, not, right? we did not, that but. Was, that was free. Bonus material. Yeah. Bonus. <laughs> <laughs> did it get more? All right, so we're just sending out our weekend here at John Bryan State Park. Not John Bryant. <laughs> There's no T at the end. <laughs> I feel like there should be a T. I don't know why. <laughs> For some people there is, but those people are wrong. <laughs> it's a small park. There's, a, I would say, about 60 sites and maybe 15 of them have electric. Mm -hmm, something like that. Um, it rained a little bit yesterday, a fair amount later in the day. It rained overnight. Um, the park's pretty small as far as the, the campground. It had some really nice hiking. That's kind of what this area is right. known for, is the hiking trails. Um, one thing I noticed is it seemed like this park was, it seemed like it was one of the busiest parks, even though it's the smallest yeah. that we've been to. 
And I think the reasoning is there's nowhere for people to go. <laughs> they, the park's so small, everyone in the park that takes a walk is going to walk past your site. That makes sense. And uh, that, that's how small it is. Yeah. You know, um, there were some people across from us Friday night that were, their dog kept, they didn't have a leash for it. They actually didn't even have a collar on it. It kept coming over under our site going to the people behind us who also didn't have a dog on a leash and that was just a problem andrea gave them a leash because they didn't bring one i might have lost my temper yeah a we bit. may have had a yeah <laughs> gave them a leash and then they still didn't really use it but luckily they left saturday they were only here friday night which is great um but it was kind of making it not as fun to be outside but uh that was pretty much it we hung out with the coleman's cruising yeah, with the coleman's we did quite a bit brian and michelle they introduced us to some of the hot spots of yellow yeah, Springs. they're from this area and that was nice that they were because they were able to show us around a little bit we went to a distillery we went to a winery and then we went to young's and got some ice cream yeah and then we hung out with uh, melissa and chris from mm -hmm. sight seekers we met them last year at the mohican meetup and they uh just come over and hung out and went to the to the events or to the places with us as well yeah and that was fun seeing them again and that was pretty much the whole weekend so now we're just going to pull in here and dump the tank. There's one dump station here. And that's it for this trip, I think. Yeah, we had a great time. And I, if we come back, we just have to make sure it's kind of on the off season like this. Because I think it would get real crowded real quick with uh, a full park. Because <laughs> it was only about half capacity and it still seemed like there was a lot of traffic. There's so a lot I of think stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on here. But... Um, it's, it's, just, it's worth it just for the hiking so it's um, mainly because like i said it's so small that there's nowhere else there's no other loop they could walk around right, right right but no we had a great time and we appreciate you guys following along on our adventures that's it well thanks for watching we appreciate it yep and also we're on facebook and instagram thanks for following along